Hello everybody, it's Nicola and welcome back to my channel. Um, I blog over at thefrugalcottage.com all about budgeting, money saving and everything in between. And if you're new here then welcome and hello, it's nice to see you. And if you're not new then welcome back and thanks for joining me again. So I thought I would do a little update on um, my budget for September. This is weeks one, no it's not, it's weeks two and three. I didn't film this last weekend um, mainly because I feel like Last week a couple of things kind of were um, unexpected in the budget and I spent things that I didn't intend to and then I kind of felt like I went a bit off track a bit and then was really disappointed about it considering I'm supposed to be doing a no spend September. So um, so yeah, so this is kind of two weeks in one so to speak. So that's my front page, we'll just, um, we'll just turn over that. And so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my no spend stage tracker. Um, now the first annoying thing, can you see here that um, on Sunday yesterday um, I have a different coloured star and that is simply because I have run out of green stars which are my yes as in it's a no spend day. I've actually run out, I can't believe it. I um, obviously didn't plan that entirely well however so um, I've, I've added another colour which now looks really weird. I've added on gold for yes as well. So and this really doesn't show up very well on the screen either. So again um, for next time I know not to use blue and green in the same kind of pattern. So the, the yes, the no spend day, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm up to 15. I mean you can see there that my aim is 20. So 15 is okay, there are still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are still eight days, um, oh no, seven days left to go. I can't count today apparently. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll get to that by the end of September, but we'll see. And now the spending. So the first week went really well. The first week only came to here. And then, um, and then yeah, I'll talk through some of the other things. So I'll just zoom in a bit. Um, hopefully my camera won't take too long to refocus. Stop. So I'll just wait for that for a second. It always takes a while. Um, there we go. So, oh, now I just move across a bit. So, um, things like, oh, what are you doing, camera? There we go. Um, so, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I've already mentioned this has been a real downfall for me this past two weeks, and I'm really disappointed, but um, and also I've kind of looked at reasons why and what I can do about it but you'll start to see here that food which is a yellow category this month kind of crops up more and more and I was hoping to get back to shopping like doing like a main shop once a week and then if needed like if we needed milk or bananas or yogurts like they're mainly normally things for the kids then I'd pop and just get those, but um, I've kind of fallen into bad habits a bit. And when I pop to Asda, because Asda's our nearest supermarket, for say milk, it normally is milk. We seem to go through milk at a stupid rate, um, and things like that. I seem to not be able to turn down good offers. And do you know what it is? Mainly, it's mainly junk food, so chocolate and crisps are my weakness, and I'm well aware of that. And I thought I'd kind of got on top of that and not, but as you'll see, kind of going and I'll when I turn over, um, I really haven't got hanged on that at all. Um, <clears throat> so I also, can you see here, a little clothes. Um, I suddenly realised um, that I needed new work shoes um, and I always get them for Primark because um, they seem to last, they last me like a year and I'm okay with that and I've unlike some people my mum thinks I'm meant for buying my shoes there but I find them really comfy and also um I struggle to find shoe sizes that, are, that I've got really small feet so and um, Primark shoe sizes like sizes seem to fit me really well this boots food here this was um we had been in town for ages and I need to get snacks because they were getting grumpy obviously parking look there as the food five pounds 64 and you see that there yeah now that you know that doesn't seem like a lot but I think I'd popped in for two things and, and suddenly it's like a, another five are gone. Oh, and then this here, this is where I felt I was starting to lose track a bit. So on, was it Thursday was the 12th? I went downstairs in the morning to put the boys' milk on because they have warm milk when we get up. Um, 
and the microwave wouldn't work and it was making a really weird noise um, and you know you think oh this does not sound good and we'd intended to replace our microwave eventually um because it's quite old but we're not like not definitely not during a no spend month let's put it that way and i did the usual um i turned it off at the, at the wall at the plug and then turned it back on again and then it wouldn't work at all so this we got a microwave in the sale at curry's it was half price but obviously that was a very much an unbudgeted purchase and um has meant that as the, a consequence of that i've gone over my budget for miscellaneous category this month but again kind of unavoidable and definitely unplanned for and, and very frustrating but after that i felt that i've kind of like lost the focus a bit so this here gymnastics 45 pound was fees and um you have to pay like a, a yearly insurance thing i can't remember why remember why but you do um, and then this sainsbury's here um this um what does that say 16 pound and five pounds i absolutely and completely wanted a takeaway last weekend um and i was so determined that we weren't going to get one although that's i it basically i just didn't want to cook and we had nothing in that i could just shove in the freezer because i've not been uh shoving the oven from the freezer even um so we went to Sainsbury's and got we got uh pizzas and you know like basically a, like a takeaway but at home so it wasn't from a takeaway does that make sense but again 16 pounds Oh, it's just quite a lot of money and this is what this is what I mean by the I feel like I've kind of gone off track a bit since this Morrison's there um, was a, just a weekly shop and but again there oh, if I let that refocus slightly can you see and this is exactly what I mean when I mean I pop to Asda for one thing and buy loads Asda at food £5.79 Asda at food £7.22 Asda at food £4.68 I've got to get a grip with spending at Asda like there's not even any there's not even any excuse <laughs> so we'll just leave it there so if i just quickly turn over to my weekly spends and i'll zoom in so we'll focus on week whoa on week two come on camera there we go on week two look 95 pound 47 i spent on food that is those all those impulse purchases i need to stop doing this uh, petrol 25 miscellaneous 85 that includes the microwave so that was a really big weekly spend in that category that's a gymnastic freeze and they were my work shoes um and then if you look at week three which is what we've just finished um again another 75 pound on food so my food week to week has really really shot up and i'm really disappointed in myself because that is purely down to me that's down to nobody else at all that is my fault for not being able to be um what's the word more controlled have a bit of willpower when you're in the supermarket and there's all those offers that are pounds because believe me a pound adds up really quickly and i can't and i can't be the only one and i know not because the lovely people over at instagram that follow me have sent me some lovely message about the fact that they're just the same and it's really difficult um um oh, it's just tough it's just tough isn't it um, and here, so miscellaneous, this is just household stuff, but because of the microwave, um, I'm now minus £11.37. And food-wise, I'm only left with £11.71. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you now that I can't survive on £11 for the final week of September. Um, so it's all just gone a bit to pot. And it really does feel like that. I'm really disappointed um, in myself more than anything, as I say. It's not anyone else's fault. Um, but a no-spend month should look better than that on paper really should um so yeah so although my no spend days look great the rest of it really doesn't i'll zoom out a bit there um i've got to somehow get a grip <laughs> so i hope your september is going much more than mine and i will be back next week with a um like september recap overall how did we do how did what went well what went better um and plans for October. So I hope to see you then. Bye.